In today's video, I will be showing the best jump shot for all builds and three-point ratings. So no matter if you're new to the game, haven't been shooting well lately, or made a new build, or simply just need a new jump shot, this is the video for you. I will be showing my own jump shot with gameplay, the secret and best settings, my best shooting tips, the best shooting badges, and the best jump shot for all three-point ratings all the way from 60 to 99 for every build and every height. And trust me, you can trust me with this information. I have a 93 win percent and I shoot 68% from three, which is very good in NBA 2K23. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video, man. Let's get it. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka Double H, back at it with yet another banger, man. And if this video helps you guys out at all, make sure to drop a like for your boy for hooking y'all up with a jump shot for y'all this year on NBA 2K23. And subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We got a bunch of entertaining videos on the channel. I don't post the tutorials very often, but when I do, I make sure to help y'all out, okay? We're going to first go over the gameplay of my jump shot, then we're going to go over the settings, then we're going to go over the best tips. Then we're going to go over the best badges. And then we're going to go over the best jump shots for all builds, heights, everything, three-point ratings, anything you can imagine. So let's go ahead and get into the gameplay first. Here we are with my jump shot gameplay. Now, whether or not you want to watch this or not or are interested in my jump shot, I'm not going to lie. This is worth watching just itself, this gameplay. I'm going to show you a lot of comebacks, a lot of comp games. We're playing a level 40 right here now. A couple of these games are a couple weeks old. That's why my three-point percentage is like that. But currently, my three-point percentage is a 68 three-point percentage. Um, and I have a 93 win percent. But anyways, right here, I'm, I'm um, one of my 6'9 builds. You're going to see me on my 6'9, 6'7 throughout this build or throughout this gameplay um, right here with my jump shot. But you see, I'm cooking. I mean, we're going to show you the end of the game stats too. We're not just like cutting clips and cutting out the misses. Like we're going to show like the full stats and everything after every game. You see right here, I mean, I'm not only getting open, I'm shooting greens every single time. This game is a lot, has a lot of rim runners. And if you can figure out how to shoot, you're going to be on stop but right here the game ends we win 22 to 2 against that level 40 a lot of these games are going to be on the stage look at i shot six for six from three i didn't cut no misses out six for six from three on to the next gameplay this game's play is like crazy like i played a level 40 goat tier he's a goat tier i'm on a win streak he knows how to win bro look at this gameplay first play spin back three you already know i'm I'm, I'm, I'm shooting threes out here. We don't go for a lot of dunks around here. I like to fight for threes before I get a two. My, my first option is a three. If I can't get a three, okay, then I'll settle for a two. You see, we cook it more for a three. A lot of people back off of you in this game, too, because they're expecting a rim run because most people rim run. So it's you got to take advantage and be able to shoot and put on this jump shot. Look at my player going crazy. Four for four from three. We got a takeover. Y'all already know when I get a takeover, the game is over. Like I, This was the fastest. I've ever beat a level 40 goat tier ever. I mean, he did not touch the ball. Five for five from three right here. He is looking lost. We're over here fading. This jump shot can fade from anywhere, shoot from anywhere. This jump shot is insane, bro. And if you can't get this jump shot, we got plenty of other jump shots in the video for you. But look at that. Seven for seven from three? He really let him me do him like that? Oh, my God. Personally, I would not allow that to happen. I don't know about y'all. Let me know in the comment section if y'all would allow that to happen. Anyways, next game we're showing here. We're on another streak right here. Uh, we have nothing, so we just go back and get a three. We, even when we know we were tired, it still don't matter. This this jump shot can shoot when you're tired. It's easy to green. has a massive green window. It, it, it's literally good. There's nothing this jump shot can't do, okay? Spin back three, nine to zero. You see, he, like, what is this dude's defense? Like, are you going to guard me? He thinks, oh, he shot a three. He's going to start rim running. No, I'm just going to keep shooting. I'm literally just going to keep shooting. Bang, another three over you. Stop playing 15 to 0 takeover, double takeover. Oh, you done messed up. You done messed up. Big greens, fade away, standing shot. It does not matter. Oh my gosh, yo, this jump shot is too smooth. Once again, another three. And I'm going to show the stats once again, just in case y'all think I'm cutting anything out. Seven for seven for three. I didn't even attempt a two. Seven for seven from three. Another game right here. You see, we're playing comp. This guy averages 60 points a game. Goat tier, 75 field goal percentage, 61 three-point percentage. And yes, I'm showing a miss because that's the only shot I'm going to miss is a heavily in someone's face. And you see, this dude is rim running all game. I'll tell you that much. A huge rim runner. I finally make him shoot. I'm down 20 to zero. I'm down 20 to zero. But this jump shot is so deadly. If you give me the ball just once 
that game might be over. You might not see that ball again. And that's exactly what happened in this game. You see, we're going back to back threes. Another three right here. And something to notice is people that rim run do not guard the three well because they expect you to play like them and rim run as well. But with this jump shot, you don't got to rim run. You can shoot the lights out the entire game. Look at that. Five for six from three. The only three we missed was that heavily. And we come back from 20 to zero. Stop playing with me. Let's take it to the theater. This dude can't guard me either. Another three right there. You know, walk, hit him with the walk bag. Yo, it gets deadly once you get some of these moves with the spin bag, the walk bag. I mean, look at he. I can't. I'm throwing a dunk in the in the in the jump shot video because it's just like he has to guard my three. So the dunk's wide open. Look at shooting the fades from a couple steps outside of the three point line. It's going in with takeover. We got takeover. Why aren't you stepping out? We pointed at you. We getting disrespectful out here. Like, I'm telling you, this jump shot is one of the smoothest jump shots I have ever had in 2K. Look at this green every time. I have the dunk, but why not shoot the three? You know what I'm saying? Once again, we're going to show the stats at the end of the game because I don't cut things out like other YouTubers. Five for five from three. Nine for nine. Okay. On to the next play gameplay. We're playing a GOAT tier 6-8. Goat tier 6-8. So this is comp, right? I'm down 20 to 0. He started with ball. I can't remember if he was rim running or not, to be honest. I'm about a great I was about a great out at a D minus. We finally get the ball we, after making him miss. I mean, he just shot wide open. He just missed. Um, look at us getting threes. He thought I couldn't shoot with no energy. Well, we point at you because you looking like a fool out here. 20 to 12. Overdose. Overdose! It don't matter if it's contested. We shooting over you, then we're gonna point at you after we grant it. Look at he's jumping at me. Because he knows I'm a shooter. I mean, we making people fear my shot right here. Another one over you. I don't care what the percent is. 20 to 20. Y'all already know. Is he going to leave me open for game point? Well, he, he's an idiot. He left me open for game point. 23 to 20. We didn't miss a three that game either. Uh, we're going to show you guys the stats right here. Trust me, this jump shot is insane. We can go through game plays all, all day long. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, let's go on to the settings. Let's go on to all the other important stuff, the jump shots, all that good stuff, so you can learn how to shoot just like this. So now that we looked at some gameplay, let's go over and look at the best settings for shooting in NBA 2K23. As you can see on the left side of your screen, I'm on current gen. And on the right side of your screen, I am on next gen. So whatever gen you're on, I will be able to help you in today's video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your options and settings scroll over all the way to the right where that's at and go to your settings now the only setting you're going to want to change right here is your shot feedback what shot feedback does is you're going to want to put it on all shots and what it's going to do is going to show in the top right or the top of your screen in game uh what percent covered all the shots you're taking or your opponent is taking and it's going to give you a better idea of what's open and what's not open next you're going to want to scroll down to controller settings and the first setting you're going to want to change is your shot meter make sure that is off that is going to boost your green window it's going to make a allow you to shoot more greens and if you're not used to not shooting without the shot meter just get used to it turn it off and just go from there okay you might be bad at first but eventually you'll get good at it now on next gen the next setting would be shot timing just put it on shots only or all shots depending on if you want to time your layups or just your uh jump shots okay and now with current and next gen the next setting would be shot time and release time now what this setting does is it basically allows you to choose when you want to release your shot so you're going to release the button what early right before the shot you know let's go of your hands late a little after the shot let's go of your hands or very early way before let's go of your hands or very late way after it let's go of your hands now i would recommend early or late what i use is early and other than that the only thing you could do Changing from that is your shot meter type, which um, you can change later in this video for dunks, but we have our shot meter off, so we don't really need to use that setting. But the next group of settings you're gonna wanna change is something called animation. So you can see we're on current on the left, next gen on the right again. So what you're gonna wanna do is click start, go over to my player, scroll down to animations, and there's gonna be a bunch of secret settings in here if you scroll over to gameplay effects. We're gonna go full screen and next gen right here because it's basically the same exact settings. But the first thing is the player indicator. Now this is gonna be that little thing under your feet and you can change it to whatever logo you want. There's a bunch of logo options. Personally, I just do the circle. You could also change the color. 
I'm gonna go with red. You can go with green. You can go whatever color you want. Next is gonna be the perfect release section. And this is where you can choose what kind of graphic type and sound effects your greens give. So you can put a ball over your head, a flame over your head. I like the wings. So I'm gonna put the wings over my head. And then you can choose the sound effect. Now you're not gonna be able to hear the sound effects in this video, but you're gonna hear it when you're on game. And there's a bunch of sound effects you can choose from. And these are the sound effects it's gonna give you when you green a shot. Now, all this stuff is personal preference. None of this is actually gonna make you green more. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go with the wings. And yeah, there's a bunch of different sounds you could choose from. Next is the jump shot meter setting. Now, this is definitely going to make you either better or worse at shooting. If you are going to have a meter on, I would put com Comet or Funnel on. That's going to help with your dunks too, even if you have shot meter off, if you're going for contact dunks. And then the last is ball trail. This is only on next gen. I would take the ball trail off because I feel like it's a distraction when you're shooting. I actually shoot worse with it, but you can have it on if you'd like. But personally, I would go with none. And that's going to be it for the settings. So now that we went over the gameplay and the best settings, we're going to go over the best tips and tricks for NBA 2K23 shooting. Now, you see we're on current gen on the left, next gen on the right. We're both at the Gatorade facility. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to My Health on current gen and go over to Get Boost on next gen. And basically, a tip I have is to buy jump shot boost. If you're not buying jump shot boost, you're going to shoot significantly worse. You shoot better with jump shot uh, boost. Your green window gets bigger. It's just better. Another thing you can do is buy Gatorade. You don't have to buy Gatorade, but the more enters you have after you get open, you know, the more likely you are to make your shot. So Gatorade would help as well. Um, and another tip takeovers current gen obviously sharp is the best takeover shot creator is pretty good too and then obviously on next gen limitless range is by far the best shooting takeover another tip go to the my core bro do drills if you're not good with no shot meter this is a good place to practice with no meter obviously the latency is going to be a little different but go practice dribble around shoot with your jump shot you know get used to the timing get used to the shot cue and all that good stuff so now that we've gone over some gameplay the settings the tips let's go over the best shooting badges in nba 2k23 now this is obviously going to differ depending on what build you are and all that good stuff let's go ahead go over to your badges whether you're on current gen or next gen let's start with current gen this is my badge setup now in current gen you can really get anything i mean the best shooting badges are obviously going to be green machine agent threes limit range limitless range and then dead eye and blinders so as you can see on current gen i'm running silver agent threes i don't have max shooting badges yet gold green machine and then of course silver limitless silver dead eye amped is also a really good badge too so i have that on silver and then i have bronze blinders obviously when i have maxed out shooting badges i'll probably max Max out amped and blinders as well now if you're a spot up build of course claymore is going to be a really good badge clutch shooter is going to be a really good badge another really good badge in general is volume shooters uh for people that shoot a lot now we take a look at my next gen shooting badges now, obviously, it's going to be a little different considering we have tiers. Agent 3s and Limitless Range is still the best badges for shooting uh, when it comes to tier 3s. So, if you can't get blinders or did I, it's not that big of a deal unless you're a small guard. Try to get blinders. Now, of course, tier um, the other tiers, whether you have tier 2 or tier 1, depending on what your build is, Green Machine, Amped, and green machine and amped are the next two best shooting badges and following that i would say volume shooter and clutch shooter other than that unless you're a spot up build and you need claymore there's nothing else you really need so yeah i'd say green machine amped agent threes and limitless range are definitely the four best shooting badges and then depending on your build you know claymore blinders dead eye clutch shooter volume shooter are some other ones that are really good as well badges that i don't really think you need too much and aren't worth putting on is definitely guard up comeback kid slippery off ball corner specialist is really bad this year as well and even catch and shoot i mean if you're wide open for catch and shoot yeah i don't think you need to catch and shoot ones that are decent but maybe aren't worth putting on but are good if you have extra badges or depending on your play style is definitely clutch shooter midi magician volume shooter space creator but of course those badges aren't as good as the very good badges like claymore amped green machine agent threes blinders dead eye and limitless range but anyways that's my opinion on the badges so now that we went over the gameplay the settings the badges the tips it's finally time to look over the best jump shots for all builds heights three point ratings all that good stuff so we're gonna go over all that and i can even show you guys how to make your own custom jump shot now what you're gonna want to do is go over to animations whether you're on current gen or next gen i'm gonna do it here on next gen because it's literally the same so we don't have to go half screen for this you're gonna scroll over to the jump shot creator now there are a letter grades this year personally the advice I would give you with the letter grades is don't pay attention to them at all. There's literally a glitch jump shot out there that has an A plus in every single one of these stats. 
and it's probably one of the worst jump shots I have used this year. So when it comes to creating a jump shot, the base is the most important thing. Releases one and two is just going to be a visual cue to help you time the shot better. So releases one and two aren't going to make the jump shot worse or better. They're only going to affect the visual cue on how easy it is that for you to time when you look at the jump shot so the biggest key is the base to the jump shots so let's give you guys the best base jump shots depending on your three-point rating so starting off with a 60 plus three-point rating for those low three-point shooters mantras Harrell is a very good base for those low to mid three-point shooters with a 74 plus three-point rating o shaper set is a very solid base and for 81 plus three-point rating builds lamello ball very good base i personally can't use it but a lot of people find a lot of success with lamello ball base now 85 plus three point ratings my favorite base in the game kyle kuzma oh my gosh this will make you a crazy good shooter 91 plus three point ratings i would go with stephen curry or kevin porter jr both very fast and very good jump shots for high rated shooting so those are the best bases for all three point ratings in nba 2k23 now let's give you guys some custom jump shots now i can't personally put on these uh this center custom jump shot i have for you guys but for the rest of the jump shots i will put them on for you so you can see what they look like but for the first jump shot for all my centers that are 610 or higher you go with montrez harrow base release one chris bosh release two Giannis onto the kumpo 50 50 blending 100 percent speed those are for all those low 3.6 610 and above uh builds another good big man jump shot is base o'shea percent marvin bagley release one deandre ayton release two 50 50 blending max speed so those are the two jump shots i got for all those centers out there depending on what your three-point rating is you can test both of them let me know how they go so now let's look at some small guard jump shots so the first one we're going to look at is the derrick rose base jump shot this is the one i have on right here now it's going to be base derrick rose release one oscar robertson release two derrick rose 79 21 blending max speed this is the jump shot i use in a lot of my events that i use on my small guard so here's option number one derrick rose base option number two for my small guards with a Stephen Curry base. We're going to have two different Stephen Curry base jump shots for y'all. Is base Stephen Curry, release one Dwayne Wade, release two Dwayne Wade, um, and max speed 50-50 blending. Now, if you don't like that Stephen Curry jump shot, you can go with this Stephen Curry jump shot, which I think is better. Base Stephen Curry, release one Bruce Brown, release two Oscar Robertson. I mean, those grades are good if you do care about the grades, but I don't think the grades matter. Max speed, 40 60 blending this is probably the best stephen curry based jump shot in the game in my opinion and then my last smaller guard jump shot for y'all is going to be base kevin porter jr oscar oscar max release speed 50 50 blending if you're a good shooter this is probably the best option to go with don't pay attention to the grades once again but you can test out all these jump shots pick which one you like and then stick with it just because you have one bad game with a jump shot does not mean you need to change your jump shot stick with the jump shot and you'll be fine now i got a couple more jump shots for y'all including my own jump shot so for you know taller iso builds or builds that aren't small guards but also aren't big centers these are some jump shots i got for y'all because this is most of the builds that are in the game so i know a lot of y'all are going to be watching this part now this is going to be my jump shot right here but first we're going to show this set shot 25 jump shot that's similar to the set shot 25 base in nba 2k22 you're going to want to go with base isaac bongo which is basically set shot 25 in 2k23 release one rudy gay release two paul george max speed 2773 this jump shot is actually really good now it's gonna take some getting used to i might even go very early on the uh, shot timing with this in the settings because it is a little later than most jump shots when you time it but other than that this jump shot is hella fast and is really nice to use if you can get used to it now this jump shot i would use for lower three pointers that are taller like anywhere from 74 to like 83 this is a really good jump shot base o shaper set release one rudy gay release two rudy gay max speed 50 50 blending very easy to time jump shot and yeah i would definitely recommend this if you don't have an 85 three-pointer now here is my jump shot if you clicked on this video and you're looking for my jump shot whether you were watching one of my streams or one of my other videos and you're like what's double h's jump shot this is the jump shot i use on all my builds unless you see me on a very small guard or like a 7-3 center or something this is the jump shot i use base kyle kuzma release one oscar release two oscar max speed 50 50 this is also the jump shot i was using in the beginning of the video where i show is showing the gameplay this is my favorite jump shot in the game 
very easy to time. You could literally go seven for seven if you time the shot right in any game you'd like. I use this in Pro-Am. I use this in Park. I use this in Stage, 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, 5v5 modes. Any mode, this is my go-to jump shot. Let me know if you test it out. Let me know if you like it or not because this is my favorite jump shot in the game. That's going to be it for today's video. If this video helped you guys out at all and I was any way helpful to you guys for shooting in NBA 2K23, make sure to drop a like for your boy. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We have plenty of entertaining videos on the channel that I highly recommend you go watch. There's probably some videos on the screen right now. Click one of them. And if you have a fire jump shot that you didn't see in today's video, comment it down below because at the end of the day, I just want everybody that's watching the video to get a jump shot that they enjoy using and that they find success with. But anyways, that's going to do it for today's video. I appreciate you guys so much for watching the video. It's been your boy, Henry, aka Double H, and I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.